All right, well, welcome. So uh, January 19th, DEI, Chaos DEI Working Group Meeting. Nice to have you here. Um, let's see, so a couple things. Let's see, I'll share my screen. Well, we have a few things to get through today and to, to kind of Matt's point from last week, we'll start focusing in on a few of our things and I just picked some somewhat arbitrarily. Um, do anybody want to facilitate next meeting next week? It really just, it requires kind of setting an agenda and helping us work through the meeting. Anybody have an expressed interest in that? I can do it. Matt, yeah, thank you, Matt. That's quite nice. Um, great. So I thought maybe we could start today by taking a look at some of the issues and PRs that we have in the chaos project. And so um, we have a, a few here. Um, so by Justin and Emma and Justin and these last ones, I was looking at these, like these, we just, we need, <laughs> this is the DCO thing. And so we can't get this resolved. I mean, we could, force them in, but we might want to take a look at kind of what these are anymore. I'm starting to wonder if they're becoming, if they have become out of band with kind of the work that we're doing. You know, I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Like when a PR sits for a year, <laughs> it can sometimes get kind of out of sync uh, with anything we've done. So let's, maybe we can take a look at some of this. So this is on Project Burnout. I think this was a fairly substantial change to Project Burnout, if you recall. Does anybody remember this? Yes, I do. Okay, I personally, I, I think this is too substantive of a change. Substantive of a change, is that the right word? Too large of a change um, to simply just kind of overwrite a metric. I don't know what other people's thoughts are on this, or if somebody would like to kind of take this on and before next week and try to put closure to this metric. My thought was, is that maybe when we are, um, you know, how we're reevaluating our metrics in 2022, that we could pull out what we think are points in this one, and then just kind of address those points as a re-evaluation of the metric in 2022. Does that make sense? That was actually going to be my suggestion as well. Okay. Like tag it somehow that will resurface this when this metric gets re-reviewed. Okay. Um, should we, do you think we should maybe have somebody take on the action item to kind of look at this metric? Like the, the things that were brought up over here on the right-hand side? that might be points to bring forward like we could just kind of close this pr next week perhaps you know what i mean and we've captured the highlights in our meeting minutes or something along those lines yeah i can take that okay so the idea would be just to take a look at this and just use your best judgment i think it is fair at this point as to what might be things we would consider to add to the project burnout metric when we reevaluate it. Okay, thanks, Elizabeth. Okay, so PR, what number was that one? Oops. PR. I don't know. 343. And 347. Is that the same? Uh, they're both lower. Well, um, Take a look at the proposed changes and um, kind of pull right. those, those out and record the proposed. It might be worth mentioning that um, 347 looks like a more updated 343. Looks like we were trying to, it looks like Lawrence was trying to figure out the DCO aspect of it. Okay. Is it still on burnout? It's on burnout, yeah. Okay. That's the only file change still. Elizabeth, can I just kind of pile those together? 
Yes, of course. Okay. Um, in minutes here, uh, we would then close the PRs. Is, this, is everybody kind of agreeing with what I'm writing? And address the Okay. Matt, would it be okay if I also open an issue in the DEI working group that would just kind of be there as a placeholder? Oh yeah, that's probably okay. better than putting it in here. Okay. You know, it kind so of the, yeah. will linger on and like not look clean on our issues list, but at least we'll know where it is. Okay. Yeah. So do it as an issue. Okay. And not in here. Okay. Good idea. All right. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, So Justin, I think this is, Matt, you could comment on this because you were kind of involved in handling meeting minutes. You remember like your comments on. Yeah, and Justin had said, stepped in at one point and said, I can help with the exporting aspect of it. Looks like all the pictures are fixed and everything. Okay. It, what is this? Oh, this is. Is this the minutes? This is founding so, notes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I had just merged, he had added a few files, like just markdown holders, you know, like minutes, minutes from 2018.md. So if we come in here, this just looks like the minutes. He added um, the, the founding notes is is the is the extra file here. Okay. It, there's two files in total, and what, the top one is the founding notes. The other one is the export of the 2018 minutes. So would those? Okay. So does it make sense, Matt? I don't know if you can see my screen, but like. Yeah, I can. He um he proposed a couple files that would just hold the meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. And I went ahead and merged those because that seemed yeah. har harmless. Um, do you mind if I share my screen on this? No, not at all. Let me make you. Okay. I'm going to make you co-host. Or Elizabeth, can you make Matt co-host? Co I can do it without oh, co-host. Okay. That might not be good, but. <laughs> um, so we've got this document that you were looking at. Can you here. make it bigger, Matt? It's oh, of course. Small. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's going to take a while to zoom in because the page is so long, which I guess is the problem you're running into in the first place. Okay, no, that looks okay. good. Actually, no, what you had right big. before that. <laughs> okay, it's just taking a while because uh, my computer is chugging on this too. So we've got this huge document that we have, um, and you can see how big the scroller is. Basically, yeah. from this down, took about a minute to load when I clicked load. And um, this is just all of the minutes from... 2018, but it'll have to be renamed because it's something selling GDoc export right now. Mm -hmm, but this is all of those minutes. And if it, wow, this is long. It might just be all of the minutes. I'm not sure. We got 2020. So this is just all of them. We'll have to pull 2018 out of this. Okay. And 2019 and 2020. And yeah, we'll have to, uh, if we have those already, we can probably just take the 2018 and copy and paste it. So what do you this, I, I, I can uh, I can take an action item to take the minutes from 2018 and then you know back from there chronologically. Okay. And then uh, and then put that in, um, in in a new pull request and credit Justin and, here. Okay. And would you just do it like in that folder that I was showing before? That yeah. it would be like um, whatever 2018.md and then. 2019.md. So if, do you have those, do, are the minutes in those files or did they just, no. or were they just made? Okay. They're just empty files. Okay. Uh, we'll have to, I, I think I'm going to take all of these and just get the raw format and just chop it into blocks and put them in those files. Okay. And then make one last new file. I don't think there's a 2018 one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
Okay. I'll cool. do that while we're while we're continuing to talk. It's not going to be. It's just going to be CPU intensive more than anything else. Okay. Right on. Thank you very much. So Matt. Um, AI. All right. So then Matt is busy. <laughs> I, we we lose people during the meeting. So I did it last yesterday too during a. I think the community call. I was doing something, and you're just like goodbye. <laughs> All right, uh, Matt uh, is going to. So then, Matt, also, you're going to delete it from the Google Doc, too? I can, yeah, as soon as I finish with everything else. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> right on. And to fix, and I'm just going to archive. Um, from And are you going to do, really, are you just going to do. Maybe just leave 2021 in there. Yeah, I think July 2021 on is in there, but it looks like all previous meetings are archived. Somewhere? Yeah. Like in the minutes uh, over to the left, I have the outline view on, or you can scroll to the bottom and it just goes to July 21st. Anything past that is archived, just what the minutes say. Where is it archived? Uh, there's a link to a uh, Doc in Markdown in the Chaos Drive. Okay. The Google Drive. So, okay. So, but Matt's going to kind of archive everything into Markdown in the GitHub repo. Is that right? Like, yeah. We shouldn't just, have archives in the Google Drive, I don't think. Yeah, that might have been a, a meteor. I, I don't know if it was like a. Just like move them out temporarily because the file yeah. is so big. Okay. So Matt, did you follow that too? Any archive should only be in the repo. Okay. I, I'm almost finished with the 2018 and then I can show that. Okay. Hi, Amy. Hello. Um, there's the 2018 minutes. Let me know if you want something different from that. We should probably make some kind of header describing how to consume these minutes, but it might be something for a future meeting. Okay. That's perfect, actually. And then if there's a, Matt, where did you get those minutes from? A Google Doc somewhere? You're muted. That pull request that Justin had shared with the archive of all meeting minutes. Oh, it was in there. I'd recommend not using that whole file, even if we need a full archive, um, because it takes like a minute to just load the raw file. It's just so well, yeah. big. So as soon as as soon as you're done, then we'll just close that PR without merge. Okay. And then we could just put like a note at the end, like we broke it up into. I'm also going to add those foundational minutes that he's adding as a different file. Okay. Like initial or something. Yep. No, that's a good idea. So then can you like, as one last step, can you just close that PR without merging and then, okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent. We are making good progress. Um, Okay, so actually then the next, those, those two, if I share my screen, Matt, these two, 391 and 390 will both get closed. Yeah. Okay. And then so close. Okay, cool. Any comments or questions? Housekeeping, it feels it feels good. <laughs> it's like spring cleaning in January. All right. Um, and then the last one, the last pull request. So this is Emma had brought this up a week ago. Let's see, Elizabeth, have you? I don't know if you've taken a look at this one at all. I've not seen that. So let me look at that. 
Okay. So this was part of a process. Okay, so actually I think this can close without merge as well because this was a PR that was adding some like in progress metrics to the GitHub repo. And that's not, I don't know when we decided it, but that's not how we were working. So the only metrics that are in the GitHub repo are those that are released or like under review with the intention of being released or released. And anything that's a work in progress is only in a Google Doc or some shared document thing. And then Lucas brought up at the end, this is like for a lot of our Asia Pacific calls, how we use um, SharePoint, Microsoft thing. Um, I think this is an ongoing issue with just the fact that we do use Google Docs, but I don't, mm -hmm. but even the SharePoint, like there's still issues with that sometimes of people getting into the doc and having access. So um, I don't, I don't think there's a good answer. Honestly, That's usually that was my, that was always my error in how I set it up, but <laughs> <laughs> owner error, but I think we, we've had this talk before. I mean, we, uh, we've used other tools, the, um, we've had this talk before and I don't think it's DEI's thing to sort out. I think it would be a, an operations team to sort out if anybody. Well, yeah, because definitely like you look across this and I mean like everything is is just, we just do Google Docs and then GitHub. And Google, and, I mean, I could almost argue the same with get, using GitHub. I mean, were you part of that conversation when we were talking about GitLab, Elizabeth? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, <laughs> yeah, there's always something else. Okay. Um, so. Elizabeth, could you take a look at this PR maybe right now? And if you believe that the conversation constitutes this PR to be closed without merge because we've captured everything that Emma wanted to capture. Because I did, I added them equity trust. Yeah, you already moved it to a Google Doc. So did we I get can... it in here? Like maybe we should add it here too. Yeah, like I think there. you said you did. Wait, didn't you? I think you said you did. I've added this metric. Here it is. Yeah, okay. Equity trust. And what was the other one? I think that was. Weren't there two? Didn't she have two? I think just in this PR, there's just one. Oh, okay. So if you think this is good, maybe you could add a comment that just we're closing this because we've captured it in the normal workflow. Yeah, I will do that right now. Okay. All right, cool. We're going to close all of our PRs. So then 394. Right on, thank you, everybody. So Matt's working and Elizabeth is working. So Kafaya, it's just you and John and, <laughs> and me and Amy. All right. Um, let's see. So issues. Okay, I'm gonna, can we, I'm gonna pause recording and just wait for a second, or can you pause, somebody pause, or it'd be great if Elizabeth and Matt, you can do this. All right, so, um, 
let's see. I had done back before break some pretty extensive cleanup of the spreadsheet and the metrics because as was mentioned earlier DEI was the only working group that was using the GitHub repository to track in progress metrics and that was not what we were supposed to be doing so I spent quite a bit of time going through um, the repository you know and just kind of going through each one of these and then cross-referencing it with this to see if it was released and then you know like making sure these were only released metrics or under review metrics and same for each one of the focus areas and if they were not then i added them as a considering metric for example and created a google doc with the text that was in the GitHub repository. Sometimes there was like no text, it was just a template just kind of sitting there and that's fine, I just added the template. And sometimes it was, there were some conversations or some you know, kind of um, small discussions around a particular metric. So I believe that I have aligned this page, the metrics page with the spreadsheet, with the repository so that you get the idea so that everything is kind of in line um, and this issue kind of addresses that and i had i just wanted to have somebody give that a second look. That's why I signed it to you, Elizabeth. I never saw that notification. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Because I just went ahead and did a lot of that work. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so much work. Thank you for doing that. Oh my gosh. So if you could, could you kind of just double check me that like maybe over the week? Yes. That what's in here and is showing as released is just that the I don't know I mean at this point the re repo is kind of what it is and that what's in the repo you get the idea that everything kind of lines up so um okay so um issue 393 Um, okay, that's it. Honestly, I, I think it's good. I really do. I don't think there should be anything missing, but it's possible there is. All right, cool. Um, how's it going, Matt? Oh, we're done. Um, so the 2021 goes up to August, so we'll probably need another one of those generated. Like, what do you mean? It, it, it only covers up to the month of August 2021, and then everything, I think that's probably when it was made. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, so once we have another one of those, I'll, I'll, um, I'll put that in the comment and then close the pull request now. Okay, right on, thank you. All right, um, great. Other issues, um, we'll come back to that one, the inclusive naming checklist, Matt, as you finalize that. Um, I did take, just prior to this meeting, I took the work that had come out of the, um, evolution working group 
This is the review for 2022. So if you recall, part of our metrics work now is not only the development of new metrics, but the evaluation of existing or prior, priorly released metrics. So I updated the list here for all of what I believe to be our released metrics that we need to review. We have started to review some of them. So if you recall, Code of Conduct at Event is undergoing a strangely large change. <laughs> um, and then Board Council Diversity is another one that we're taking a look at as well. So we may or may not have time to take a look at those today. Um, but should, should I mark those here as like things that we are currently taking a look at? Or should I, do we only mark them when they're done? We would mark when we're done. Okay. And we can just track their in-progressness here in the spreadsheet. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Um, so th there's really not much to say here, right? I mean, this is just kind of an ongoing checklist. I'm not quite sure how the checklist works for each metric. Yeah, do we open an issue for each metric and then put that checklist in it? Right, because each one of these is kind of unique to a metric. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think Sean had talked about, um, you can jump in anytime, Sean, uh, about like doing like three or maybe even one every week, depending on people's bandwidth. And uh, having an issue for each one would be good there because then we can distinctly track them. So like you would have, when we're updating event demographics, we would keep, make a new issue called like updating event demographics. And then we would pull this part out. Yeah. To that issue. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna comment a plain text, <laughs> a plain text version of the, the 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 thing we need to copy too, because I think you have to go into edit mode to get it anyway. Okay. I think we so could also maybe add a new label that just says under review or something, in the issues. Oh, that's a good idea. We really have anything that represents that stage. Like um. We have like under review. community review. We could have like reevaluate or yeah. re review. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're right. That is kind of confusing that terminology. Um, but I like that idea. Something about yeah. So maybe um. So what do you think that should be the label? Revisit. What's that? Revisit. Okay. We could do like revisiting metric. Yeah. It's the label. Do we, when we add a label, do we have to add it repo by repo? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Um, are you doing it right now? <laughs> I didn't know if you were. Or not. <laughs> I was actually going to just look to see if the if two repos had the same labels or not. Okay. We also have to decide on a color. I'd say toxic green. Toxic green sounds delightful. Why toxic? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking about like Simpsons, the toxic waste green. <laughs> I think we have that for help wanted though, which is a little ironic. <laughs> I just think that that is green, not toxic, but that's just me. Glowing green. I don't know. I'm just throwing out an, a color. But do they actually search for the as those colors? No, they just stand out that way. Oh, okay. So that's your interpretation of the name of the color. I got gotcha. I'm pretty sure it's like some hex code or something. Where'd I go? Uh, 
That's green enough. <laughs> that kind of coincides with metric idea too. Are there any other? We don't have any yellow. That's because no. yellow can be hard to see depending on your screen. Oh, true. Is that good? Absolutely. Purple. Your purple's good. <laughs> They're all you're easy to please. <laughs> I want to get past this part so we can talk about vagin. All all colors are make you all right, fine. All right, I'm gonna go purple. Okay. And we should probably add that to all working groups, obviously. You can do that. Okay. Can you I'll do it after the meeting? Can you pick that purple? Uh if it doesn't yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, purple. Close enough purple. Uh, and just to metrics working groups and maybe the models too. All right, so let's, um, based on the comment that just came from Matt, let's, let's talk about DEI badging. So Matt, you're up. Okay, so uh, as decided in the last couple meetings of the DEI Badging Weekly, um, we focused on some important things that we want to focus on. So we have some goals for 2022. We, we are hosting soon. Um, we are hosting a reviewer appreciation kind of get together. Uh, it looks like it's going to be on Zoom. Looks like it's going to be a, a globally friendly time zone as much as we can make it. Um, we want to have a marketing focus. Um, the outreach meeting has had kind of low attendance lately. Um, so we'd like to spring that back up somehow. Um, the leadership plan um, is, is how are we going to move the leadership forward when I'm no longer in a place of um, leadership in the um, organization. Um, volunteer recruitment. I'm bringing new people on as soon as we need it and understanding how like a process to do that and then ongoing applicant outreach, which is um, actually it, it's better said as past applicant outreach because um, it's people who have applied and gotten a badge or not gotten a badge and we reach out to them and ask about their experience with the badging initiative. Um, all these things, we do not have answers <laughs> at all, um, but we're really glad to, um, to know that this is what we're going to be working on. So I have a few questions for you. So for the reviewer appreciation, when are you gonna do that? Because if you need like anything like stickers or- Yeah, what? I mean, it's late February. Okay, do you wanna get anything to send to reviewers? No, absolutely. Okay, why don't you, <laughs> that's a dumb question apparently. I'll, I'll get you some <laughs> proofs from Sticker Mule or something and, and we'll work from there. Why don't you think a little bit bigger than that? Like okay. maybe more than just stickers. Okay, because last time we just sent out um like letters with stickers. <laughs> I meant sticker mule as in like I just ordered a shirt from oh, them oh, the first yeah. time. Oh yeah, we I forget sticker mule shirts. has more. They than have me. really inexpensive shirts, and I just got this. Um, I'll wear it next time. But I got um, I can't. I'm blanking on his name, but the guy from Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Um, I got him, him on Rick a t-shirt. Uh, Rick Moranis, yes. I, I could not remember the name, even though I've been obsessing over the past few days. And, uh, funny I shrunk the kids. I got I got a shirt with him with an image I cut out just to see what the quality was like because I was curious, and it's actually a nice <laughs> shirt. So I wouldn't you mind going with them for some reviewer shirts. Cut out image of Rick Moranis t-shirt? I'll, I'll wear it to the next DEI <laughs> meeting, I promise. Like his face on your t-shirt? Uh, I don't have, I haven't opened it yet, but I'll send a okay. picture. I'll put a picture in the minutes. I'm so curious. Okay. I am too. I want one. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, Matt, go ahead and, and think, because we, that's something that we can definitely support. Um, past applicant outreach too. So I, marketing focus, you had kind of mentioned like, did you mention making the program bigger or trying to, 
Um, it looks like it's going to move more to a, to a maintenance than it is a, a continuous expansion. Okay. Um, because we, we're, we're getting to the point where we have so much support and so many reviewers that um, we, we're comfortable. And it's, that's okay. really a nice place to be. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, maybe one of the things to think about, like, is... Um, you and I had talked about this in the past, which would be like, if you are an organization that wants to run DEI badging, here's how you do it. Like fork our repository, go get some, <laughs> go get some reviewer. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to do it for you. Cause I, we've talked about like academic style programs using DEI badging, which, you know, like academic conferences. And I don't think chaos, we can support that. I just don't. And I think it's out of band for what we do, to be honest with you. Um, as much as I appreciate like considering DEI within conferences, I just don't think we can cover everything. And so I, do you have anything that's like how another group of conferences could think about badging? Do we have a template repository? It needs to be okay. updated, but that should be a, that could be a good goal for this upcoming year as well or even the next release okay because i i think probably in 2022 we may start it feels like we're going to start having conversations with some of the um with some academic groups that have an interest in badging and the most optimal solution for us would be just go there <laughs> and there's some info that you need and we can answer some initial questions but we built a starter kit. Uh, actually, it was like Saul and Austin Tool and I had built a starter kit way early, and yeah. it still holds pretty well. The last time I looked at it. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So if you could take a look at that again, it, this is in 2022. This is not like immediately. That'd be helpful. Yeah. Okay. So can I, I'm, I'm going to put that in there if, if that's okay. Has everybody clicked on that link? I'm always, I, whenever I'm sharing my screen, I don't randomly click on links just in case. <laughs> so you all can click on it yourself and I'll click on it later. It's like when I'm teaching class, I never like search the internet for anything because that yes. you never know how that's going to go. <laughs> it's been confirmed to be a safe link to click on. <laughs> it's a good link. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, well, okay, I'm going to stop my share. I'm going to do this officially. I'm going to click on the link and I will. <laughs> I can also pause recording. No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just looking at it myself. <laughs> that is, what's up with the eyeball thing? Was he looking oh, for? He, so he was holding an a eyeglass or an hour, um, what do you, whatever you call it, not an hourglass. What do you call it? A but anyway, he, a magnifying glass. I'm too, I'm too young for this. But um, I had to Photoshop out the magnifying glass and cut out his head from the picture. <laughs> All right. Well, think of think of shirts like that for the for the badging group. I approve. I'll do something creative for it. All right. Um, all right. So then maybe just the last thing we have today. Pull my share screen back up. Um, is taking a look at metrics for 2022. And so um, it's been a little while since we've, we've looked at this. You know, is there anything in here that I'm guessing we should probably just kind of go back to our in progress um, metrics? It might make sense as well to what was the one that Emma proposed? Oh, equity and trust. To take a look at this too, there seems to be some some overlap right now with the metrics model team and like project sustainability. So maybe um, when you were in that meeting last night, Elizabeth or Sean, the metrics model, did you take a look at any of those models and like what metrics don't exist that maybe should be developed for a model? We, we did talk about that. I, I think the primary thing that we talked about was recognizing that sustainability has five or six components that are separate metrics models 
And the one that Emma was most concerned about was psychological safety at the moment. Um, we, we did not explicitly identify actually any metrics that weren't developed. Do you recall that we did, Elizabeth? No, um, we decided, so if you click on the metrics models tab, you'll see, we decided that it should be its own focus area. And I we, that, in the doc, we kept everything in one doc for now. And we kind of split up those sections um, and assigned them to people. Okay. And I think that as people go through, they'll identify specific metrics that need to be um, to be developed. Okay. And then the, the plan is to then whatever metrics are identified as having not been developed yet, they would go in that relative a working group as an issue. So that person will open an issue in the working group repo to kind of signal that this is a this needs to be developed. Yeah, and, gotcha. and that's that's right. And we laid that process out for Emma so she had a concrete view of how to work with the people that she's working with to build these models out inside of Microsoft. Okay. So okay. I'm guessing this might be something that all working groups have to do in 2022, that not, not just this in sustainability or this health 101, but whether it's community engagement or development, that there's a high possibility that some of those metrics don't exist. Um, all right. So should we... Do you have thoughts on this, anybody? Like, should we, I don't wanna just wait for the metrics model working group to kind of do the thing and we just react to that. Are there, do you think we should just continue to work forward on the ones we have in progress as well? And as we hear from the model group, we'll take that into account. Is that reasonable? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Like, cause we have a bunch of just kind of floundering metrics that we started, but we never finished. So I would focus on those first. And then we have a okay. ton of considering that we can even work on if we don't have anything from them. Okay. And we also have to review the old metrics. So I think we have plenty of work to do. Okay. Agreed. Okay. And then, so should you think too, with respect to the metrics model, maybe we would just wait for the metrics model working group to go ahead and post an issue. Like we don't need to initiate. It doesn't have to be us that goes and looks at that metrics model. No. Doc. To I try don't to figure so. it out. I don't think so. Yeah, I would prefer be, my personal preference is to have it a push rather than a pull. Okay. So they'll push it out if they need it. Yep. I think okay. that's that's the most efficient. Yeah, then we're not guessing. might be important to like in the metrics model working group to also kind of say like listen just because you post an issue <laughs> in a working group doesn't mean that that metric is going to be developed like in the next week or two <laughs> you know right right <laughs> we don't just stop everything i mean i know that we're all in all calls but there are different sets of people in different right. calls so and i think we could welcome a metrics model working group that needed a metric to draft one you know, I don't see anything wrong yeah. with that. Actually, that'd be a great issue to, if the issue could include, like, even just a preliminary draft of, like, what the question is and what the mm -hmm. objective is, that would be wonderful. Yes. start getting we'll start totally acronyming things up all right all right that's a great idea and look at that we're at the end of time we got all of our poll requests closed <laughs>
the and, benefits and, of me disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for that great, great uh, start cleanup. And then I think next week it would be Matt. I'm just thinking as you're as you're kind of facilitating next week that we could probably just start focusing on revisiting metrics and and working on um, just the in progress metrics from this list. Okay. All right, cool. Everybody, it's great to see you. Till next time. Yeah. Till next time. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your day. Bye.